Hello and welcome, I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's do uh, the end here of a Cobalt's and Catacombs run. We're gonna start on boss number four, just because we're gonna skip those first couple easy ones that are kind of silly to even fight. So we've uh, started Nick, a Paladin deck off here. We have Captured Flag and then Hilt of Quell Delar. I took that hoping that this will be the game where I finally get to complete the sword. And we have a Murloc theme going right now. I think I've, I've taken two Murloc buckets of cards, so I've got a Vilefin Inquisitor, Bluegill Warrior, Murloc Warleader, Gentle Megasaur, uh, Corrupted Seer, and then there's also some legendary type guys here at the end. Uh, we've got the Valenir, Death Rattle Weapon, uh, Nexus Champion Sarad, and uh, that's about it, I think. So Captured Flag is going to work pretty well with uh, Murlocs, I think. Okay. Wait, what? Okay. For the king! No time for honor! We can power out a whole bunch of these reinforced uh, minions. Oh, he's really playing defensive. Alright, um... Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go... Just, just, you know, hold some cards back and do that. Plus three damage there. Save the hilt. I don't know, for reasons. We could do this. Is there any real advantage to that right now? This technically gives me seven damage. Still not gonna be enough either way. Starting on boss four may have still been too early. Boss four is quite easy. I wonder what happens if you have that uh, that Murloc that returns things you've cast on it when it dies. It's Death Rattle. What if it gets the weapon? It picks up a Valanir buff. Hey, buffs. Speaking of the devil. Well, this isn't really a buff deck, though. There's just It's just I have a couple of them so far. A second Valanir. I don't know why that would really help all that much, actually. On the other hand, draw on some Murlocs. I don't have any beasts or dragons yet, I think. But I think maybe some some early secrets here would be better. Nice and little cheap minions. Laxy be sneaking deep, deep, coming back with new wiggly bits. Artus versus. Normally I wouldn't go that low on the mana curve, but with captured flag, even the little tiny minions are going to be quite strong. Hey, he shows up. First time I've seen him. This run, I think I had him in the very first card bucket too. I'm glad he's here. Two four for one mana, please. Now I just want to see that gentle megasaur. These caverns go deep. Not on my watch. He's dead. Did he not attack? He did not attack. Okay. Time is money. A pretty beastly auction master Beardo. Who is the monster here? Yeah, I'll consecrate. That seems reasonable. Alright. A little bit of card draw could be handy. I know I just passed up the uh, 
the double... What are they called? Big, big Golem Man guy. But... That's too slow, I think, for card draw. Alright, I'm just gonna race now. One of these things will get killed by the Noble Sacrifice. Still won't survive, even though it's gonna be a 3-2. It'd be awesome if Noble, Noble Sacrifice could actually survive the hit. Weird. He didn't want to kill Nexus Champion Sarad. A big dude, but they'll just come right back. Thank you. I think we've got this guy. Definitely feel the the need for some extra card draw. Getting the mad scientist to pull the secrets out so I don't have to play them would be quite quite helpful. What is this thing? Oh yeah, I know him. For the king. A new acquisition. Honor. Hopefully, Nexus Champion Sarad is safe. Oh come on! You're finally going to learn how to use this spell the right way. I have a good way to kill all this stuff. Keep fishing for spells. Coming back with one health isn't going to be the best, but it'll at least still be alive. You do not see the shadows, but they see Can you please let me win? No more taunts. No more taunts, and yes, there we go. Spend all your mana. Even though it doesn't matter, and we can just call this good. Clearly, Nexus Champion Sarad needs to be, like, the most beastliest manist dude ever. Look at him. So big, so scary. <laughs> I like it. Card draw or mana ramp or something. Ooh, so Jessica's ring is going to be really good with captured flag. It's not going to be as good with if we switch over to Murlocs with Vilefin Inquisitor, but I might do the switch anyway. Uh, it will only give me one Murloc instead of two uh, noble, whatever they're called, it's little derps. Silver, silver hand champions, or silver hand, whatever, so you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, we're going Jessica's ring. Uh, not the best. Painted Zealot. Yeah, Tyrion could be nice. Sunkeeper Terum. So he sets all minions to 3-3, three, three, except then I get buffed back up to 4-4. Four, four. Yeah. Let's grab a little bit of taunt. I know, it's kind of hard to pass up on the, uh... On the Paladin Legendary. That weapon is amazing, but we already have Val... Valen near, so... Besides, Sun Sunkeeper Tarim is amazing as well. Alright, let's see if we can beat Tad the proper way. Hold on to the equality, because that might come in handy against some of the, the bigger guys toward the end. And as much as I want those Murlocs, I think what we really want are... the one one drops. In fact, the great thing is, we can immediately put out a couple of 2-2s. Which seems sort of ridiculous. Jessicar's ring with captured flag on Paladin is just crazy. Reporting 
Reporting the battle. The battle. Millhouse Menastorm. Just trade him again. The battle. The battle. Okay, we are intentionally not hurting Tad because we want to try to draft his weapon. Tad's, Tad's pole. Hopefully we can get that. The battle. Lots of sacrificial little silver hand recruits. The battle. The battle. I seem to have done the math wrong. Oops. Whatever. I don't think it's going to matter. Between Sunkeeper Tarim and Equality, I think I can probably kill everything. Oh, interesting. It didn't... Okay, so Banner of Inspiration sets it to one, the plus one, plus one, and then this does actually apply. And yet he gets to be a 4-8. Neat. Neat-ish, slash, whatever. It's fine. Reporting for duty. The battle! The battle! The battle! For the maker! Ready for action! Hopefully he doesn't try to kill the 2-3. No, it's not gonna make a difference. I get to control. For the makers! When this happens. This is my responsibility. Alright. I don't see how Tad could possibly stop me from getting his weapon. Alright, that works. Two to go. Next up is uh, King Crush, who's just going to charge into that thing, and then we'll take him out. I don't even think I'm going to take a single point of damage. Amazing. Go ahead, try it. Try it, Tyrantus. Attack me in the face. You know you want to. <laughs> nice job. Very noble sacrifice. And we now get Dad's pole. Free treasure, basically. Exceptionally good for making sure that you don't get milled against some bosses. Alright, so healing. Ooh, these two pair super well. Blackguard. And Ragnaros. Murlocs, though. Double Black Knight could be pretty useful. But, no, nah, I'm gonna go Murlocs. Getting a couple extra in there would be nice. Oh, hey, it's Jiru. The Mill Queen. She's gonna make me draft crazy, crazy amounts of cards. We have, like, no ability to get much mana, so... Or she, she oftentimes plays that uh, the golem, the three, three mana four four that gives your opponent a crystal. So wouldn't be surprised if she just mills herself down to no cards and then I just whatever. Hey, Ted's bull! Holy crap! That's really good. So at the end of your turn, so we're immediately going to steal one of his cards. He's got 26 cards in the deck. Now down to 25. Ooh, haha. -ha. Hmm, okay. See, here's where I'd rather not give up the extra minion right now. We don't have enough Murloc synergy going on right now. Outdoors. 
I predict this guy dies faster than I've ever killed him before. There's the one. And yeah, we're gonna mill some stuff, but it's to be expected. My hand is full. Can I kill you? Need three damage. I'm gonna do three damage here. Perfect. Turn four kill. I'm very pleased with that. And he, she was definitely on track to. Uh, fatigue, kill herself there. Wondrous Wand. Gloves of Mugging. These are all very good, actually, but I think Wondrous Wand is going to be the most valuable. My my minions are very inexpensive, but I kind of, I really need some card draw. And you never know, we could Wondrous Wand on the Anything Can Happen, or one of the two Sunkeeper Terrams. Like, it could be, it could be really valuable. Level up! Give your Silver Hand Recruits Tutu and Taunt. That sounds sick. That sounds good, too. That sounds pretty good. Summon five Tutus. Emperor Thorson, I love that guy, but we don't have enough card draw. I only have one card at five mana right now. I think I'm going to go with Silver Hand. Alright, and we get to fight Zol the Unscathed, which someone told me in a comment uh, a while back on one of the runs I was doing. Apparently the text, the word she says at the end of her, each turn will tell you what her her card she drew was. Let me see if I can pull that up on the on another screen. Okay, got it. Let's try to get Tad's pull. Alright, Zol's hero power gives her access multiple beam cards she can use to affect the board, all of which she telegraphs by mentioning the beam she received. Here's the conversion chart. Flame. Deal two damage to all enemy minions. Fear. Return a random enemy minion to your opponent's deck. Fatigue. Destroy one of your opponent's mana crystals. Flummox. Gain control. Frost. Freeze an enemy. Fatality. Destroy all damaged enemy minions. Alright, Flame. So she's gonna have a card, deal two damage to all enemy minions. I don't really see how I can... Hmm. The battle, the battle. I mean, we might as well play these and just make her use the card, because the card should still take mana. Yeah. Kinda nulls, nullifies her turn. Fatigue. Fatigue. Destroy one of your opponent's mana crystals. There it is. Sunkeeper Tarim. I'll hold on to that one for now. Theme of Decay is gone. We didn't use it. Flummox was gain control of a random enemy minion. Okay. So we'll just go wide. This boss, I think, is significantly easier if I knew exactly what her card is. I should have looked it up earlier. Alright, Flame again was deal two damage to all enemy minions. I don't actually want her to discard because of that darn Lakari sacrifice quest. So... Let's go ahead and... Do I have any minions that are going to be weaker? Um...
That way we can make it just one discard. Alright, no problem. Teague again was Mana Crystals. I actually kind of knew that one off the top of my head. Summon a random two cost of minion for your opponent. That's fine. Sick. Don't want him to get this thing. Two more discards. The hell was that? When did you draft that one? What's that? Oh, that was the beam of fire. Okay, I thought that was the kill everything. But she just drew fatality, which is destroy all damaged enemy minions. Okay. Mm. It's a good minion. If I set his health to 3-3, three, three, then he won't technically be damaged and he'll survive. That'll be useful. No. I don't think it's important enough, though. We'll just let her kill it. And then we'll use the Getaway Kodo to summon it again next turn. Dangerous. Here, return a random enemy minion to your opponent's deck. Not to my hand, but to my deck. Can't actually kill it. Kill, kill him right now. I do have some secrets I'd like to pull out so I don't have to draft them. Um, I'm thinking we do the same thing I did last time. We'll do uh, my responsibility. this. The battle. Bye bye, Deathwing. Ooh, I am so glad that that didn't happen right there. Oh no, Silverhand Knight is in my deck. <laughs> Weird. Dark bargain. You had no cards to discard, so you were not allowed to finish your Lakari sacrifice yet. But soon. Frost. Freeze a random enemy minion and the minions next to it. We want to go wide. This is my responsibility. Yep, beam of frost it is. You are not the boss of me. That's gotta die. Destroy all damaged enemy minions. It's a shame I'm going to lose this Uncape of Terum. Probably should have maybe buffed this guy and traded him instead, or I don't know, losing a 4 7 with Taunt is kind of annoying. Still no cards to discard. She just doesn't want to actually get her, uh, her quest done. Just open up some space so we could do that. Hold on to this other Murloc for now. He's gonna make another appearance, maybe. Okay, that's the end. We got her. Alright, I gotta say, this boss is way easier if you pay attention to the telegraphs. I did not realize that's what they were.
Cool. Interesting run. I definitely would recommend uh, Captured Flag with Jessica's Ring. It's pretty ridiculous. So, nice, cool. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos, and I'll see you in the next one. See you soon.